can't tell you what council is going to vote because I haven't taken the vote yet, but um, I'm not a CSAR, but I'll tell you it's probably going to be continued if anybody has other places they need to take. Right, we've got a majority of council on the dais. So I'm going to call this meeting to order. And the Chamber of Emergency and Evacuation Plan, please, Madam Clerk. Upon activation of the emergency alarm systems, all persons should immediately exit the building. Please use the exit to the left or right front of the council chamber or the east or west stairway outside the rear doors of the chamber. Do not use elevator or escalators. After exiting the building, proceed to the assembly area located in the parking lot, bounded by Clay, 8th, and 9th Streets. Citizens and employees should assist visually and hearing impaired visitors with exiting the building. Thank you very much. Madam Clerk, are all members, which members of the council are present in the board? All members are present, seconded with the exception of Councilmember Gallows and Councilmember Garrett. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that. I'm sorry, I think I see a. It's my understanding that Councilmember Gallows is present. Yeah, he's here. Oh, I see. He's given us the finger. Well, here is that. He's a. Indicating that he is on his way to start. That being the case, can we please proceed with the paper ordinance number 2013 42? Yes, item number one is ordinance number 2013 42 to fix the date on which the mayor shall submit the budget budgets to be submitted in 2013 to the city council pursuant to the city charter on March 12, 2013 at 3 p.m. Thank you very much. Folks, I'll tell you, this was my paper. The reason I put it in is the school board chairperson, Jeffrey Moore, called and said they're very close to eliminating the entirety of their uh, $11.9 million deficit. If they had an extra week, they might be able to get it there. Asked if I would be willing to uh, reach out to council members to see if they'd be willing to put off receiving the mayor's budget by one week so the mayor could also have that extra week since he was losing out on it as well. Seemed to be something that we were fairly comfortable with, so I put it in this paper. This paper does not pass. The mayor's budget is due tomorrow. If this paper passes, the mayor's budget will be due on the 12th, which is next Tuesday, Tuesday week at 3 p.m. Now, having said all of that, is there anyone in the public here tonight to speak in opposition to this paper? Is there anyone in the Council room tonight to speak in favor of this paper. Very good. Any questions for council members? Madam Clerk, please call the question. Council is going to leave on ordinance number 2013 42. Mr. Galales? Aye. Ms. Raziano? Aye. Ms. Mosby? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Ms. Alton Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Ms. Newbill? Aye. President Sanders. Aye. That paper has been adopted. Thank you very much. Next paper, Madam Next is resolution number 2013-R47 to refer to the decision of the Commission of Architectural Review, which denied a, cert a certificate of appropriateness for vinyl replacement windows on a house located at 2916 Monument Avenue. Thank you very much. This is, uh, again, a paper I put in. I don't think it needs a whole lot of introduction to the folks that are here, but uh, basically deals with whether or not vinyl windows that have been installed in the house on the corner of the main environment are appropriate in the old historic district of Miami. The City Commissions of Architectural Review voted last week on an 8-0 uh, vote that, this, that they would agree to an extension of 75 days to continue to work with the applicant to see if there's any common ground or compromise that can be made. The attorney and Mr. Houghton have both, or Mr. Houghton and uh, Mr. Houghton himself, have both agreed to that 75-day continuance as well. That would make the first meeting in May the drop-dead date for when we would have to act on this paper if any action is necessary. I would make a proposal that we continue this paper to the second March meeting of City Council. Kind of a status date. If there has been agreement reached, fantastic. If they need more time, then we can continue the paper out from there. But at least it gives us an update on what's been happening, whether or not we need to continue moving forward, or if there's an agreement we can reach at that point. That's going to be my motion. 
Council is moving on with President Samuel's motion to continue Resolution 2013-R47 to the March 25th meeting of the Council. Mr. Malavis? Aye. Ms. Graziano? Aye. Ms. Mosby? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Mr. Adelaston? Uh, no. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Ms. Newville? Aye. President Samuels? Aye. That motion has been adopted that they will be before you again on March 25th. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Is there any other business that any other council member need to bring forward tonight? That is all of the business that we have this afternoon. Very good. Seeing none, this meeting will adjourn. Uh, members of council, please remember to have our normal meeting on Tuesday, March 25th, 9 a.m. Thank you. 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 Thank